Hi everybody, welcome to this Rookie Division general playthrough for the Rewind Tournament here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. Please give me a thumb up if you can, would massively appreciate it and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Replays and adjustments for all of the nine holes that are going to be used in this tournament. It's all of the new courses from 2022. As always on the channel, true rookie clubs only, but bear in mind you will have to tweak according to your club level ball selection and also the wind directions you will face during the tournament. Here we go with hole number one. On this par four, unless you have a really strong tailwind and can blast to green with higher clubs, you're going to lay up on the right hand side. One bar of top spin, one bar side spin to the left. Now, I'm using a navigator here. You could use a higher power ball if you're worried about being short on the approach, but playing at max distance or close to max distance with the extra mile level six. Adjust max plus 10, and because I'm only using one bar of side spin, I go with half a ball of curl to the left as well. You can use a higher side spin stat ball if you want to, but a perfect ball here bounces comfortably on the fairway and rolls down. Drive distance is going to be around 320 yards. For our second shot, we are at max distance with a power one ball and our long iron, so we're going to just add... Uh, left spin as needed here. I go with a little bit of backspin as well just to steady the path of the ball. But we want to aim at pin as best we can here. Like I said, a higher power ball, you could aim close to the green with a bit more backspin. But you've still got a very good chance at the eagle even from distance. Max plus zero is the adjustment here. And once we've done that, we just need a perfect ball. And this is going to have a very good chance at a drop. Bear in mind, you will need to tweak your spins and adjustments slightly with different wind angle. But this gives a good indication of the route that you want to take in the general wind direction on this par four. We have a hole in one here. We're going to be playing with the backbone or whatever long iron you've got in the best level. One bar of backspin, two bars side spin to the left. So we're going to use a quasar adding spin. And then I'm looking at the ball guide to be pointing deliberately just right of the cup. That's because the wind is going to push us from the right to the left. So ball guide aiming one cup to the right. Then we adjust medium distance, 15% elevation, mid plus 15 on this one. Playing with the backbone as that is, I think, the best general rookie level long iron. But if you don't have the backbone, you may have a slightly lower level club. Uh, the same adjustment should work. In which case, don't look at the ring sizes or the ring placement. Just focus on the second bounce after spin is added. So then you can uh, cater to your club and club level. Drops very nicely for a hole in one. Between two and a half and three bars of top spin and three bars side spin to the left. I'm using a katana for the side spin to the left. Obviously, your top spin will vary depending what wind you have. I'm setting up at max distance with extra mile level 6 uh, in the centre of the fairway and have the ball guide in the centre of the fairway beyond. We don't want to go too far with the top spin because the fairway we're aiming onto slopes down to the right. I push my rings to adjust so that the trees are not in the way and I adjust max distance 10% elevation. A little bit of curl to the left which I actually didn't need in this wind angle. The second bounce is a bit close to the rough, so anything with wind from right to left, as I have here, you won't need the curl. But I would suggest it if you have the wind the opposite way round. Not threatening the rough though, and we're rolling nicely in the middle of the fairway. Second shot playing with the thorn, and we're going to add a little bit of backspin, and two bars side spin to the right. And then, assuming you have general rookie level clubs for the thorn, you're going to leave the ball guide short because you won't have a fully developed ball guide with anything less than a thorn at level 8. So leave it a bit short, aim at the pin, and here in the video I'm going medium distance, 25% elevation. So that's medium distance plus 25. Very nice to be able to use the short iron for an albatross attempt on the par 5. And like I said, picking a nice route as we, he uh, we do here in the video to that fairway gives us an excellent chance for a drop. Playing with 25% elevation as this is a little bit more downhill, but you'll see it works absolutely beautifully and we drop it right at the pin. On this par 3, you're going to play with a power 3 ball and going with just over 2 bars of backspin and 1 bar side spin to the left. Setting up at max distance with my backbone level 8, 
with the power three ball. We're going to aim deliberately just to the right of the pin because the wind is going to push us to the left. The adjustment here is max plus 30. If you're playing headwind, I would recommend you go with a lower power ball and bounce over with a wood club instead. Otherwise, you will be adjusting into overpower, which is not something that you want to do. Max plus 30 power three settings on this one. Perfect ball away and you want the backspin to grab very nicely. And there is a mini little funnel down to the pin here, which we catch beautifully on that downslope and it drops for the hole in one. But any crosswind or tailwind, I would go with a berserker or a power five ball. And we want um, one bar of left spin and just over two bars backspin in this wind angle. If you have straight tailwind, I'd add a bit more backspin on. And we want to bounce there in between the rough and the bunker, almost at max distance with the extra mile level six. You can see I'm just picking a point in the middle of the fairway. And then we're going to adjust maximum distance 15% elevation, so max plus 15. Don't need to push up because we're easily going to be bouncing on the fairway with this wind angle. Perfect ball, and you'll see we bounce where we were first aiming after our wind adjustment. The backspin just steadies us up, second bounce before the fringe, and we roll onto the green. You will see some hole in ones here. Now, I'm once again going to go with the quarterback here because we need the curl. And the extra mile in true rookie club level doesn't have a lot of curl. So tighten it is, two left spin, just under three top spin. White ring touching the rough on the left at max distance with our tight. And then we're going to adjust max plus 10. Once I've done that, I'm going to spin the target round, looking back at the line of the shot and I'm pulling up to max distance just to gain myself a few more yards. Going with some overpower here, but we're using the quarterback, so a great ball should be fine. A couple of rings of overpower and almost one ball of curl to the left, just to get round this dog leg design on this par five. Perfect ball, bounces very nicely. We're not threatening the rough. And then, like I said, a great left, great right with the quarterback. You're going to be absolutely fine. 327 yards. Second shot, I was having a look here to see if I could bounce directly there with backspin and right spin. It is an option. Maybe if I was a bit nearer, I could do that. But we can bounce over the bunker nicely as well. So one and a half top spin, one bar side spin to the right. In the end, I go with two. The reason is I want to just cut the bunker away from the equation. And the more right spin I have, the less of the rough and the sand I need to bounce over. Aim at the pin as best you can. Because I'm at mid-distance of club, I play mid-distance, zero elevation. This shot is fairly flat, as with most of the approach shots on Quail Hollow. We haven't got massive downhill elevations to deal with, which is nice. So mid plus zero on this one. Aim at the pin as best you can. We hit perfect. Obviously, if you have the sniper in a low level with some top spin, that would be a good shout as well, because you get more ball guide. In the end, just a little bit to the right, the pace a tad short. Now on this hole we want to use four and a half top spin and two right spin with a Titan and you want to try and gain as much distance as possible. The big topper will also work here as well but you will need to hit perfect of course. Try and get as far down the fairway as you can. A nice wind angle here, we don't need any overpower but we just maximum distance 10% elevation. Not aiming too close to the bunker there because the wind will push me a little bit further so make sure you don't aim too far down. Max plus 10 bounces comfortably before the sand and the top spin takes us down the fairway very nicely. And you want to be in the region of here, uh, 365 yards. Second shot, if you've got a load of backspin and you've reached further on the drive, you can bounce directly on the slope before the fringe. But if not, this is a more general play for lower clubs. Between half a bar and one bar of top spin, and you want to bounce over the bunker and then trickle the ball down on the slope. This is a difficult approach here. You're really just wanting to get to the green for the birdie. But if you've got high level clubs, as I said, and you've reached further on your drive, you can attack the pin a little more aggressively. Mid plus 10 here just needed to aim this one further to the left because the slope and the wind angle is pushing us more right than I first anticipated. But we've got a very simple putt for the birdie. 
There will be two shots here, really, that uh, offer the best chance at the holding one. You can bounce over, but the rough bump is the best. Uh, the problem with the bounce over is speed control, and you will most likely roll off the back of the green and down into the rough. So we are going to have to play aggressive with the rough bump. In uh, crosswind or tailwind, we'll be playing with a wood club and a power three ball, as I do here. A hint of top spin and a few clicks of left spin. Aim at the pin, leave the ball guide short, unless, of course, you have... Uh, high level sniper then we adjust max plus 20 if we have any form of headwind then you'll be playing with the quarterback uh, for the accuracy here and then you'll be playing at min distance with either a marlin or a navigator so that you can set up at the minimum distance line otherwise if you've got a power two plus ball you won't be able to set up in the rough so on the right hand side i'm going to use uh, the extra mile, four and a half top spin, two bars side spin to the left. I would recommend you go with a power two or a power three ball for the second shot more than anything. Setting up with room around the bullseye there on the fairway just to account for any slight inaccuracies. And we're going to aim down the middle of the next piece of fairway and adjust max plus ten. Uh, if we have headwind, the reason I suggest a power two or a power three would be you can adjust into the headwind and not need any overpower. So a power two or a power three ball would be recommended. Bounces exactly where we aim after we've adjusted for the wind and the top spin takes us nicely towards the top left of this fairway. Drive distance is going to be around 350 yards. Second shot, you've got two choices here. You can bounce on the fairway just at the bottom of the screen there and clear the rough and roll onto the green. But for the best chance at an albatross, I will recommend you go with a rough bump shot. Playing with half a bar of backspin, and I'm aiming at the pin as best I can with the ball guide that I've got. The other option you have here with the rough bump, you can play more to the right of the green, and there is a good slope there as well. Um, but it all depends how much ball guide you've got and how much risk you want to take. Here I adjust medium distance of club, zero elevation. This shot doesn't really play downhill that much at all because you've got no second bounce. We land directly in the rough, the backspin grabs and there is a, a nice slope on the green. So you don't want to have um, too much speed here. We're dropping it for the albatross. Thank you for watching this video on the Rewind tournament here on the channel for more Golf Clash content, whether that be discussions, free guides, and other shot sharing posts and content, please check us out on Facebook. Go and search for BK Golf Clash and join our free Facebook group. Looking forward to seeing you all over there. Good luck, everybody. See you soon. Bye for now.